One of the new features introduced with QC20W is partial arc testing. Partial arc testing enables you to perform a full 3D test with only one setup, providing you with a quick assessment of the machine's volumetric performance in the form of a sphericity value. Sphericity can be thought of as the 3D equivalent of the traditional ball bar test circularity value. Let's take a look at what is involved in performing a volumetric test and what the output looks like. The volumetric test is actually made up of three separate parts. Typically, a 360 degree test in the XY plane, followed by two 220 degree partial arc tests in the YZ and ZX planes. To do this, you need to create a test template for each working plane. From the advanced mode menu, select set up and run a ball bar test, which brings up your list of machine folders. We are going to prepare a test for the Acme VMC. Remember that you need to have a test template for each working plane, but as we have already created one for the XY plane, all you need to do is add templates for the YZ and ZX planes. The quickest way to do this is select the XY test template, click the edit button, change the test plane, this time YZ, and click the forward arrow. This is the first of our partial arcs, so just click the button for a 220 degree data capture with a 2 degree overshoot, adjust the axis orientation if needed, and then click save. The file has been automatically assigned a suitable file name, so click save again and finish up by clicking the right arrow. We can now create the ZX partial arc test by selecting the YZ template we have just created, clicking edit, selecting ZX, click the forward arrow, now 220 degree partial arc, and finally save. Once again, the template's auto named, so just confirm by clicking save and click forward to return to the template folder. Please note that 150mm is the longest radius partial arc test you can perform with the centre mount sitting on the table. Programming a longer radius may result in a crash and cause severe damage to your machine. If you wish to perform longer partial arc tests, use riser blocks or other fixturing to raise the centre mount above the table. Having created your test templates, your next task is to prepare a part programme. However, the Bulbar software only produces part programs for single plane two axis tests. For a volumetric part program, you will need to do a little bit of manual programming to add positioning moves between the test planes and pauses to enable the operator to select the next test template. Alternatively, your local Renishaw representative may have a suitable program for your application. A volumetric part program is little more than three separate 2D test programs plus some intermediate arcs to link each test together. Here you see 360 degree XY test, followed by a downwards arc to the start of the ZX partial arc, then a ZX partial arc test itself, followed by a 90 degree arc to the start of the YZ partial arc test. You then go through the YZ test and finally return to the start point you are now positioned to immediately repeat the test if so desired. This is what a typical volumetric part program looks like. Starting as a traditional XY part program all the way through to the 5 second pause after the out feed at the end of the counterclockwise and clockwise runs. Then G18 to switch to the ZX plane, followed by a G03 move to bring the ball bar down to the start of the first partial arc. The ZX partial arc runs are then programmed with the same sequence of moves as the XY360 test, with the exception of a 2 degree lead in and lead out and a 220 degree capture arc. G01 out feed signals the end of the sequence. Next, G17 to switch back to the XY plane, followed by a 90 degree G03 to position the machine at the start of the YZ partial arc runs. G19 selects YZ as the working plane and an M00 pauses the machine until we are ready to proceed. Then we have the now familiar sequence of the feed in, counterclockwise and clockwise arcs and a final out feed to conclude the capture runs. With the templates prepared and the part program loaded on the control, you are now ready to run the test. 
Start off by positioning the centre mount and establishing the G54 work offset just as you would for a 2D ball bar test. Next, open the machine folder if it is not already open and select the XY test template. Click the right arrow, review the test details and enter any pre-test comments that you wish. Then click the right arrow again. This is a calibrated test so you are prompted to place the ball bar in the calibrator. Make sure the ball bar is switched on and carefully position it. Click the calibrate button and then the right arrow brings you to the data capture screen. Now double check that you have the correct part program loaded and be sure you have tested it. You should always perform a dry run at a low feed rate before running a bull bar test. In particular, you need to be certain that when the machine moves down to the start of the partial arc, the ball does not contact the table or fixture. Remember, for test radii greater than 150mm, you must install a riser block between the centre mount and the table. Once you are sure that it is safe to run the part program, press cycle start. The machine moves to the start position and waits while you load the ball bar. OK, to start the test, click start and then cycle start. The test starts with the XY data capture. At the end of the XY test, the machine performs the outfeed signalling the end of data capture and then arcs down to the start point of the YZ test. Save the test data, click to review the diagnostic report and then click the green rewind button to return to the list of templates. Select the ZX test template and proceed through the steps to data capture as before. There is no need to place the ball bar back in the calibrator. It is already calibrated, so click the right arrow, then the start button, and then cycle start. Starting 22 degrees below the horizontal, the machine performs a 1.5mm infeed, followed by a 2 degree lead in, and on to a 220 degree capture, plus a 2 degree lead out. The outfeed signals the end of the run, a short pause, then another infeed starts the return arc. The machine then positions to the start of the YZ test and pauses so that you can save the test and load the YZ template. The volumetric test sequence is now completed by running the YZ test. Once the YZ arc is complete, the program pauses briefly before arcing back to the start of the XY test. Save the data and proceed to the diagnostic report. You now build the volumetric test report by clicking the volumetric button and selecting the data files you've just created. Bullbar 20 software filters the list so only relevant test files are shown. The one at the bottom of the list is typically the one you have just created. Select it and click open. Do the same for the ZX plane and click OK. You now have a volumetric bullbar diagnostic report. Key values to note in the volumetric test results section are the maximum and minimum deviations and in which planes they occur. There is also a sphericity value, which is the measure of the machine's volumetric performance. Over on the right, we have thumbnail views of each of the tests, and by clicking on these, you can display them in the main plot area. To view the full 2D diagnostic report for any of the test planes, click the appropriate button on the toolbar.